Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Rosalie Harpole and I love to cook. Well, I have these two cookbooks, Rosalie Servant, Best Loved Italian, and Rosalie Servant Country. If you uh, care to go to my website and get some good recipes, but today I'm going to make you the most wonderful three-decker strawberry cake with cream cheese filling and cream cheese icing. So you know that the showers are coming up, graduations, uh, the bridal showers, the baby showers, and you want a beautiful cake. So let's start off. You want a white cake mix and a big bowl, just like this. And you want to go ahead and put in your white cake mix, just like so. And to that, we are going to add a little three ounce package of gelatin. And of course, this is our strawberry flavored gelatin, just like so. Now you want to go ahead with your uh, little whisk and make sure that you put that uh, a little bit of um, rotation here so that you can get the jello mixed in with the white cake mix. Okay, and now this recipe is going to call for fresh strawberries. So I have used my whisk and I have smashed down a cup and a half of strawberries to one cup. And there should be one cup there. And also, if you have a, a kitchen shears, you can just kind of go in there and just, you don't want them real mashed, but just so that they're not whole. So that you want it to work in with your batter. Okay, now I'll just add that right in there. And as we go along, we're gonna just, oh, before we do anything, be sure that you butter three nine inch cake pans and put a little flour in it, swish it around, and it'll look just like that three buttered nine inch pans and set your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so now we've got our strawberries in there. This recipe calls for one cup of olive oil or canola oil or vegetable oil. I like to use the, um, not the extra version, but the 100% pure olive oil. And we want a half a cup of half and half. We want this to be a nice rich cream here. And it's not really heavy cream, but it's just right, half and half. And then we're going to add four large eggs, okay? And we're just going to go ahead and beat those up real quick and put those right in with our cake batter. And then we're going to bake this cake for about 28 to 30 minutes, okay? So now you can use a mixer on this, but I have just used my whisk, and it really works out good. You just want to really get that all in there together. And you're going to see how pretty it's come out. Look at that color. And you've got the chunks of strawberries. Oh my goodness. This is the best cake ever, ever. Okay, we're going to put them in these pans. Bake them for about 28 minutes. Don't over bake them. You don't want your batter to get tough. Because this batter is a very light and beautiful batter. Okay, just move your, you want your butter out and your cream cheese. Be sure you've got that out right now so that it's, Room temperature, you don't want it to be hard when you make your filling and your icing. Okay, so that looks like it's pretty good. Everything's in there real well. And now just spread out your three pans. And go ahead and try to even them up a little bit. Some people use actually a cup measurement. You can do that. I just kind of like to eye it. And here's your next one. And that should be just about right. Okay, we're gonna pop these in the oven and bake them for about 28 to 30 minutes. All right, I'm gonna get my spatula, get all the good part out of here. Let me just reach back here and get that. And, well, here it is. All right, so now on this last one, just go ahead and look how pretty that is already. And it tastes so good. All right, I will see you guys back here. When these cakes cool, we're gonna put them on racks and we'll let it cool and then we're going to frost them. I'll see you in about two hours. Bye. I need a big spoon. So I'm back guys and I have to tell you I lied. I've only been gone about 10 minutes, but I'm back with you. So I have to tell you a very important ingredient that I did forget last segment, and that was a cup of coconut. Now this is a half a cup of shredded coconut. This is totally optional. 
you don't have to use it, but I think it yeah, will help your batter to hold together a little bit better with those fresh strawberries and their juice. And I love coconut. So what you want to do is, um, I, and I divided that coconut between three. Sorry I got interrupted with my dog, Mr. Peppers. He is a pain in the neck. But anyway, I do write about him. So as I was saying that I did uh, divide that coconut between the three layers. And now we're going to make our wonderful cream cheese uh, frosting. So actually it's a filling. So there's my butter, one stick of butter, and two sticks of your, and two packages of your cream cheese. And let's go ahead and get all that good cream cheese. And then you're going to add four cups of powdered sugar and another half cup of coconut if you would like. So I'm going to just put that in right now. And let's do the powdered sugar just a little bit at a time so that this can be nice and smooth. Now I have a little hand mixer here. It works pretty good for me. And before you get started, just kind of um, make sure that you get that cream cheese and the butter going. And then let's whip that up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you can see how nice and creamy this is. We've used all of our powdered sugar, just a little bit at a time. And now we're going to actually fold in about three-fourths to a cup of very thinly sliced fresh strawberries right into this wonderful filling. Now I have a very sturdy little uh, electric mixer here. If you have one, then you're, you'll be able to uh, maneuver this. But if you need your big one, then be sure to use that one, okay? I'm just pretty used to this little one, and it works pretty good for me. All right, we're going to just let that go down there. And reach over here and here's your three-fourths cup of thinly sliced strawberries they haven't made any juice yet but uh, if they do you let them sit out too long then you might want to drain a little bit of the juice okay so now what you're going to do here is you're just going to gently fold these strawberries right into your cream cheese filling and this will be the filling for our three layer cake okay and this is looks so pretty oh we got a big one here we're going to have to cut him in half that one just kind of snuck in there for me. You see how thin I'm slicing that, real thin. Okay. All right. And there's your filling. And then we'll be back and we'll do the outer part. All right, see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I put the filling in the refrigerator so that it could set really nice before we uh, fill our cake. And look at these beautiful cakes. And if you go to Dollar Tree, you can get these three for a dollar and your cakes will just pop out just beautifully. And look how pretty those are. Well, we're going to make our outer frosting right now. And that is one package of uh, cream cheese and a cup of powdered sugar, just a cup. And you can add these all at one time. This is a cup of heavy whipping cream. And just put it right in there anytime you want a covering for your cakes that uh, is just a beautiful little frosting. This would be it right here. And it won't work until I plug it in. So let me plug this in real quick. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and that will go together very nicely and very quickly. You can see how it's just going together, the cream and the uh, cream cheese and the... Uh, now I haven't put it in my recipe to add any vanilla, but you can add a little teaspoon of vanilla if you'd like, give it a little bit of flavor. Otherwise, you can just make it just like this. And you can put this on crepes, pancakes, you can ice your uh, cupcakes with it. Just give it a little extra taste with your cream cheese and your whipping cream. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I just wanted to show you that, and then we'll be back, and we will frost this beautiful cake. Okay, now I'm ready. So I, I went ahead and used a, a cake platter like this, and you can use anything that you'd like. Uh, put a little few doilies, paper doilies underneath. And here's your filling. And you want to use probably about a cup of this filling uh, with each layer. So we're going to just spread that around. Remember we made the cream cheese, the butter, our four cups of um, powdered sugar. And this is a beautiful filling that we have right here. Very pretty. And so, so delicious. 
So as I said, you've got plenty of filling here and your strawberries are just right. And that might even be more than a cup, but it's probably about a cup. All right, with your spatula, just come right over here and get your second layer. And it should move very nicely for you. And then again, just dress this layer and keep on going to the top and then we'll come back and we'll do the outer part. All right, this is gonna be so good, guys. I just cannot wait till you taste it. Look at this. What a beauty. Okay, we'll, we'll be back. We'll keep... Okay, look at this beautiful cake, guys. Now we've used this outer frosting for the outside. It's just a plain white. It's kind of what I wanted. Um, I thought the cake was busy enough with all the berries inside. And I put the filling right smack here in the middle. So all of the uh, outer frosting is on. And now if you'll just take this outer frosting and fill in around the sides here, where your filling is in the middle and then you can dress the top with uh, some berries and if you like sprinkles you can also sprinkle now you coconut lovers you can uh, just pat some coconut all around this cake it would be beautiful uh, if you like a lot of coconut but remember that you do have a cup in the batter and you have a half a cup in the in the uh, filling part so there is your cake it is finished and um, almost finished here. Let's go ahead and just set that right there. And there it is. Oh my goodness. Now I just chose to put a big old strawberry right there in the middle. And remember you had some strawberries left from, um, from those other ones that, that we had. Let me just get a spoon here. And um, you can do, now you can just kind of set those all around uh, just like so in a pile right here. Oh my goodness, this cake is not only beautiful for your shower and your weddings and your baby showers, your graduations, anything anniversary, um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous cake. And there it is. My goodness, guys, look at this. This is awesome. It's awesome. I'm not going to cut this cake because you've already seen the layers and you know how beautiful it's going to be. So let me just kind of turn this around like this and put a few more here. I see that we're a little lopsided, but we can fix that. And I also have here a few uh, little bit of sprinkles you can use. This is a pink sprinkle, and that would be very pretty right, right around here on your berries. Also, if uh, your kids, they probably like to have some red sprinkles, so we can do that as well. Oh my goodness, and there it is, guys. Three layer deluxe strawberry cream filled beautiful cake. All right, thank you for coming to my kitchen and come back and see me again. Go to my website, www.rosalieserving.com, for more recipes. I think you're going to love it. All right, I'll see you the next time. God bless you. Bye.